According to the American Cancer Society, surgery is the main treatment for most ovarian cancers. But what if you're of childbearing age? Are there ways to treat the disease by removing both ovaries and the uterus? Because we saw that in Cynthia's case. She said, I want to be a mom, right. and, but this is a, unfortunately a risk, correct? Correct. So if, depending on, like I said, staging, if it's oh, stage one or stage two, you can do some fertility sparing. Unfortunately, right. if you do have to remove the uterus and the ovaries, you, they can do some type of fertility sparing, or they can, what they can do is actually preserve some eggs mm -hmm. and then you know, look into surrogacy um, so that you can have children, biological children, just not right. necessarily carry the child. Now, let's talk about another common treatment, which is chemotherapy, and one that many are familiar with. So can you explain what chemotherapy is and how it actually works when it comes to ovarian cancer? So chemotherapy is actually hits the targeted, both benign and malignant cells, unfortunately, and it stops the reproduction of the cancer cell itself. Mm -hmm. um, chemotherapy is used in the big majority of our ovarian cancers, even dependent you know, on the stage, they're gonna get different types of medications, different types of combinations, but for the most part, most ovarian cancers will get some form of chemotherapy at some point throughout the treatment. I know some patients complain the side effects of chemo sometimes make them feel worse than the treatment Correct. itself. So what are some of those side effects, unfortunately, that patients may experience? So for the big majority, there's gonna be nausea, there's gonna be some sort of GI upset, uh, constipation or diarrhea, depending. Um, there is gonna be a fluctuation in counts. Mm -hmm. um, the chemotherapy does hit that bone marrow, so it will affect things like your white blood cell, putting you at a higher risk for infection. Hemoglobin, which is what carries oxygen to all of your organs, will be decreased, and platelet, which is your clotting factor, also decrease. Um, and a lot of the chemotherapies, unfortunately, do cause hair loss.